better get a fucking break. Francis Franklin, from Pack. This boy over there, he's been sitting there all day. You better do something about him, about the Paul's ass in. Andrew Baxter. Don't worry, I'll stop that this. <laughs> Poppycock, the heretics and liars. But they have put a label on God Almighty. Interesting. Mr. Baxter, if you refuse to cooperate with me willingly, that nice officer over there is going to take you straight to the psychiatric ward of Ravenholt. Or some other godforsaken hospital. Now, do you really want that? Do you really want that? I am what I am. However, your proposition is being non-believers can be so very good. Well, it seems like I struck a chord with you. If you want the situation to improve, Mr. Baxter, I'm going to need your full cooperation. You help me, I guarantee I'll help you. Well, I need a lot of stuff that you got. Glad you, uh, you're agreeing you're an intelligent man. All right, well, we offer you a lot of things. Like, uh, job placement. <laughs> the economy. Medical services. Which doctor? Food. Room and board with government subsidies. Bingo. One more question, though. Yeah, go ahead. Shoot me, brother. Are you on any drugs? You look like a type of man that would use a unnatural substance. I mean, would I like doing things for this whole temple of mine? Man. You sure? We use natural. Size, I got to go just rolled up under my foot is going to give you a stint in jail. But he's not playing, right? He doesn't give a rat's ass who you think you are. All he sees is a crazy black man hanging out at a public pool uh, pretending that there's pretty white girls standing around in bikinis. There's not even any water in the pool, Baxter. They're going to lock you up and put you in the worst psych ward of the county prison where you will be monitored every second of every day. 
And worse than that, you could be doing hard time, real hard time, with real sociopaths, most of which are lifers. Now, do you want that? Do you really want that? Every second of the day scheduled, except, of course, at night, when the lights go out, and there's not a soul around to watch your back. Oh, except maybe your prison bunk buddies. And they're just gonna look at you as a straight up bitch. Pretty boy. Now, see, you're gonna cooperate with me willingly, but you got a one way, all expense paid trip to the Shawshank night after night after night redemption. Am I making myself clear? Keep your way, Pastor. Suicide. I heard. It wasn't even our team. Yeah, but when a councilman's knee straps 30 stories to her death, they'll always be held to pay. Those are the breaks. Listen, you'll change your tune when you find out who the councilman is related to, how much cash he donated to our organization. Don't tell me. Big meeting? Big. Big meeting. Make no mistake. That young lady could have been one of ours. If she had lived in near two blocks west, she would have definitely been one of her clients. I'm a client. Our priority. Absolutely, absolutely. Tommy! Hi, dear. Um, I trust your vacation was well spent. It was absolutely fabulous. Uh, you seem to have gotten a 10. <laughs> it is Brazil, ma'am. It is required. <laughs> 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 um, David, is it about time for the meeting? Yes, ma'am. Everybody, Miss Clark is right. Conference room, five minutes. Hey, you. No, now. Then when? When you get through kissing her ass. Okay, all devices away. We're gonna start today's meeting without Kuji, who's out on assignment. Danny. Yo. I think it's fitting that we uh, address this morning's paper. For those of us less informed, we suffered a loss. A suicide. We usually screen out. Inappropriate referrals? Yes. But this is a clear case where a client was discharged too soon. I need not to remind you that this is about a person. She wasn't some animal that was tagged and released prematurely in the wild. Nor was this a random incident. The girl was clearly released entirely too soon. So what is the evaluation on conclusive point? That, my dear supervisor, is the heart of the matter. So this is what I've pieced together so far. They said it was a mild case, but this may have been a blatant oversight. can progress when the patient is exposed to a traumatic event or stimulus.
factor to her suicide could have easily been the passing of her mom, who also had the illness. So we know that her illness was hereditary, but there's still some loose ends. Dr. Cunnings, please. The autopsy showed that she ingested her entire bottle of medication before her suicide. She never verbalized that she wanted to hurt herself. <laughs> I bought Mr. Baxter here as you requested. All right, good. Miss Clark, how are you? The real question is, how is our new client? Nice to see you too. Boss, we got real trouble down at the rehab center. All right, take Toby with you. Just like that, you're gonna let half of your team go. Something bad. I didn't mean to hurt her, so I just put her in the car. She just jumped out in front of me and I put her in the car. Hillary, call the ambulance. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hillary, call the ambulance. Oh my god, you gotta come out. You gotta come out. Oh look. I mean, she's out. I don't know. I don't know. It's not even human. Oh my goodness. We have to do something to help her. What you see here before you is a prize winning blue brand of Pitbull. I know this because my uncle owned a kennel. So what are we going to do? Oh, this animal has lost a lot of blood and he will never make it to the vet. So that means we're going to have to... Oh, I know what we have to do. I 
did it. I did it. Yeah, like I said earlier, it was a case of miscommunication. Yo, Augie broke my nose because he thought I had gone too far. All I said was maybe the three of us would get together sometime outside the center. I didn't mean any disrespect by it. I just meant, you know, hanging out someplace cooler. And she freaked. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm real sorry. This is still going into your records. Augie, you haven't been violent in years. What if Eric wants to press charges? I'm sorry. If it's any consolation, I'm not going to press any charges. That's why when the ambulance came, I didn't go to the hospital. I mean, why go through all that drama over nothing? You're not angry? For sure I'm angry. But what kind of thug would I be if I didn't show love for my nizzle? Well, that resolves that.
We call them the twins because they work so well together. Once again, I lost what I was searching for Crawling through the window, passing by the door Leaving my heart behind the chairs of the skies But behind every wall, I bit them all lies To believe in all that I told myself Was a long shot, I just put it on the shelf Moments turning into days, days into weeks You can face the reality of what you see Yeah, now I know Come on! 